Render Woe is the third episode into the Wednesday Adams show, and this time around, Wednesday stumbles on a secret society during Outreach Day. Nevermore's outcasts mingle with Jericho's normies in the Pilgrim world, where a bunch of secrets from the past have been uncovered. Now, I have so far enjoyed this series that I really enjoyed the first two episodes and thought that they were really fun despite a few bits of CW drama here and there and dialogue pieces that just did not really work for me. That still continued here somewhat but overall I gotta say I had a really fun time with this. I thought that this was so far the best episode in the entire series. I think that there's a lot done right here in terms of the mystery that's being uncovered here, the backstory behind the town, and how that's connected to Wednesday Adams was very intriguing and fun to discover. It's like a Scooby-Doo type of mystery that I really enjoyed watching and kind of reminded me of those old Scooby-Doo cartoons I used to enjoy, even though it's a different tone, different character entirely. Um, and it's not connected to Scooby-Doo at all. Maybe a few cameos in the movies here and there, maybe, but, yeah. Um, the character Wednesday Adams here, get to learn a lot more about her and her family background. You discover that this girl that she has been seeing in her visions, especially from last time, who is like a blonde version of herself, is actually an ancestor who has been through some of the worst trials back in the Pilgrim Age and has a lot of connections as to what is going on now in Nevermore and the kid and the kid who's trying to kill her. And that mystery being unfolded is one of my favorite aspects about this. It keeps the story constantly interesting. Um, all the other characters, especially the bullies, have taken more of a backseat, especially uh, the best friend character. The only character that has gotten a little bit more significance is that one beehive kid that is being bullied in the middle and throws, off, throws up on one of the bullies, which was pretty disgusting to be honest. I kind of lost my appetite after that. Um, yeah, he. He's like the only prominent care kid character here. Everyone else kind of takes the back seat, which is kind of refreshing. Um, and it helps us focus more on the main character, more so. Not to say that the other character did not get time to shine. Like the best friend character is trying to flirt with this one guy with snakes for hair. And he turns to stone, uh, thus ending her date before it could even start. Yeah, pretty sad, uh, tr tragic story for a character. Uh, she's probably gonna turn into a villain afterwards, maybe. Um, but I really, I really was more interested in the mystery aspect. And one of the final scenes in which the principal is trying to confront Wednesday Adams about her actions throughout the episode, I thought that was probably the best scene in the entire show so far. For uh, having two conflicting ideals, always butting heads with one another is always very, very interesting to me. Especially if it is well acted, and well portrayed, and well handled. I think here, the principle of letting, uh, loose, uh, is not letting things as much information out as Wednesday is anticipating. I think there's a little bit of her that think that the principal is kind of responsible for it. Or if the principal is that kid is trying to kill her because as we saw in the last episode, the kid could shapeshift into others. Or at least whoever this person is, is a shapeshifter. So maybe this principal is also a shapeshifter too. We don't know. Um, again, the mystery of it all is very intriguing and is what is keeping me 
enjoying this show so far. So overall, this is a really fun episode. Uh, funny too, I love the dark sense of humor here and in this show. Again, the CW drama is bringing it down for me. But other than that, I found everything else quite enjoyable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pick up a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.